Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for a special edition of YBM Cast. And we are finishing off our district uh, champion interviews with uh, the Fort Zumwalt East District Champions, District Number Four, Class Five. Coach Hills joining us. Coach, appreciate it, man. Congrats. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always a good thing, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. So next next year we're gonna have to get you on the preview show. I got you in there this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, this is kind of uncharted waters here after districts as, you know, as we're diving into our first uh, district title. But nonetheless, it's exciting. I, that is the coolest thing. Uh, you know, Justin, of course, there, people know this. He played for you all through high school. And, uh, you know, you've had some close calls. You've been in them. Um, you know, going back to some of your first years, uh, the big thriller with, uh, Francis, Francis Howell, Howell. Yeah. back in the day that you, as you said, I think you can still see that on YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I don't need YouTube. I got a pretty vivid memory of it. I'm sure. <laughs> so finally breakthrough, get a district title. Uh, that has got to feel good. Yeah, for sure. You know, a long time coming um, for for our program, for our boys. But, um, you know, I think the boys, uh, you know, they persevered, mm-hmm. you know, through a pretty stressful week. I mean, it's always stressful for everybody. I don't want to, you know, allude to the fact that it was just stressful for our boys. But, no, the, you know, with the championship game getting suspended. So, uh, you know, it was tough for both sides. But, um, you know, yeah, we just came out on top. It was just a, a, they, they played well. Absolutely. Kevin? Yeah, Coach, you battled through a tough district. And, you know, the, the scary thing for the, you know, it is equal for both teams. But I kind of feel like when you get a rain delay like you guys had, and you had to spend a whole night thinking about it and wake up and play the next day, I feel like that's actually an advantage for the team that's losing because uh, it kind of presents an opportunity to hit the reset button. You guys seem to have the momentum early in that championship ball game. And it's like, Oh, wait a second. Now we've got to stop and talk to us about like what you had to do with the mindset of the guys and what was the preparation going into that second day of championship game? Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, you're, you're not wrong. I, th- I think uh, it does kind of allude itself to like catering the team who's down and maybe doesn't have momentum. And, and I certainly felt that immediately when the, uh, tornado you know alarms and sirens went off throughout everybody's phone and and here I was selfishly thinking of of us being on top and having the momentum and then all of a sudden this is happening and and I knew McGill Lucas McGill our pitcher was doing a phenomenal job just missing barrels um and you know he was at 72 pitches so I I felt uh you know I felt even a delay was going to going to hurt him um even if it was a short delay but um you know, we quickly got over, I quickly got over ourselves, you know, my thought and selfishness with that. But, um, yeah, we, uh, we did come out, you know, early, we came out and jumped on him. and, and Kemp's a good, I mean, he's a good arm. He's a good dude, but, uh, we just happened to, you know, baseball was going our way that day. And, um, we, we hit him around a little bit. And in fact, they scored in the top of the first and, uh, you know, we didn't, um, we didn't throw up a zero. I always challenged the guys to kind of throw up a zero in the top of the first, which they didn't do. And I was like, you know, man, he already had a one run lead in the first. So that made it tough. But then we scrambled back and scratched a run and manufactured a run in the bottom of the first and, um, you know, just chipped away and scored a, you know, a few runs the first half. But like you had asked about, you know, what did we do, um, preparing them for the next day? Um, I'm sure both teams and both players uh, on both sides and both coaches on everybody. I mean, we were just, it was tough. It was tough to sleep. That's for sure. Because, um, (laughs) you know, you look at Dominic who had won, what was it? 18 games in a row. I'm not really even, Yes, I feel like it was 18 games in a row. I, I, I think they hadn't lost since like April 2nd. Um, they are just expected to win in a sense because they're used to winning and they're really good players. I can tell you that for sure. And then you get somebody like us who is trying to find that first district title. We were going to, you know, it was tough. That was a tough 24 hours. But um, we pulled the tarp at, uh, we pulled the tarp Friday morning, and I put up on the scoreboard in the fourth inning. I turned the scoreboard on, and I put zero zero up on the scoreboard. 
And I said, today, today the score is zero to zero and don't think otherwise. So I want you to know that, you know, you guys got three innings to play and the score is zero zero. We're not trying to maintain a three run lead. We're not trying to get Dominic out three innings and have nine outs worth of outs. We're, here's the deal. They're good hitters. They're going to score more than one run. So I told the guys, we're not going to stop them from scoring more than one run. I, I flat out told them that. And, um, I said, so we, we have to score more runs. So, so going into Friday was a hundred percent offense. Um, not that we didn't trust Michael Gibson and not that we didn't trust Luke Albuchon, two of our pretty good relievers, but, um, our whole mindset was foot on the gas. So, uh, that, that's where we were Friday morning. I love it. Well, you guys have been resilient all year and, you know, you lost one of your top arms heading in before districts even started in senior Justin Smith, and we got a chance to see Justin throw a really nice ball game uh, in uh, the game of the week that we covered uh, kind of midseason. Yeah. Um, so that just talks about the resiliency of your ball club. So you guys have been through a lot and really impressive uh, run. You know, now shifting gears, putting that in the rear view mirror is as great as that was, and I'm sure – There'll be a time to do a lot of reflecting on that. You got a great, you got a big opportunity on Saturday now to uh, winner gets to go on to the state championship um, uh, final four, which is a tremendous opportunity. When you got a tough ball club um, in, in front of you in Parkway Central. Yes, we uh, we sure do. They they are they are a good team, and 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 I agree. We do have a good opportunity just like they have a good opportunity. I'm, I'm pretty even keel with that and don't want to get too far, you know, far ahead of ourselves. But, um, uh, I, yeah, we played Parkway central a couple weeks ago at their place and I was pretty impressed with their hitting. Um, and you know, not that their pitching wasn't you know, not that their pitching was bad, but I was just impressed with their at bats. I mean, we didn't exactly have um, necessarily our our main guys going, but um, we had guys that could get outs up there throwing, and they were just kind of hitting and barreling. And it was just one of those games where they just jumped on us early. So uh, I know they can hit. I know they can hit for sure, and they actually got some speed. And honestly, they made some really good plays in the field. So um, I, I, it will be a tough ta- tough task. That's that's for sure. But um, we're going to, we're going to give it our, we're going to give it a go. You know, like it, it's, um, I tell the guys, it's not anything to hide and, 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 you know, run from it's a big game, you know, like we got to treat it like it's a big game, but at the same time, we got to find a balance and treat it like just another baseball game that we've played, you know, two, three, 400 times in our life. So it's a, it's a, it's a balance, but getting, getting back to Justin, um, and, and being resilient, we also lost, um, Brennan Jackson for for I yeah. think it was three yeah. weeks. Yeah, you did. I think it was seventeen days or something. He had some soreness in his bicep on that Friday out at Lindenwood, um, and we rested him. Yeah, because he came out of yeah, that game, didn't inning. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's been our Wednesday guy, which would be classified as like our Tuesday guy, our our, our number two guy. Justin's our Tuesday, but um, yeah, we we rested him for a while, and and that was a that was a tough stretch for us, and. He's about as gritty as can be coming back facing Hannibal because we weren't really sure if he was going to, you know, be able to throw. And, uh, you know, he's about as he's about as tough a kid as you're going to find. And um, he didn't have any soreness or anything. So he wanted the ball more innings than I wanted to give it to him. But he uh, he got through that Tuesday versus Hannibal. But, yeah, so so I agree with you. The boys are pretty resilient and we're we're trying to build on that for sure. I think one of the uh, interesting things, and Kevin has alluded to this, and we've talked about it pretty much all year, offensively, I think you guys have swung the bats very well. You had the the end, and I think that was a lot due to, as you said, the pitching, it was up and down the last couple weeks, few weeks. Right, lately. Uh, But, I mean, the two sophomores, Eric Williams, Jackson Carter, they've been great. They've they've been great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then you got your seniors with Abishon, Parker, Dave, Alex Hubner. Uh, is it Hubner or Hubner? You know what? For three years, I called him Hubner. Uh, no, it would be two years. So for two years when he was on freshman in JV, I called him Hubner because it's spelled H-U. Right. And then once they get to varsity, you know, we try and have a little better relationship and a little closer. And he said, Coach, it's actually pronounced Hebes with two E's. 
And so as a junior, I said, well, you, how did you let me call you Hubner for two years on the JV team? And, and he kind of laughed. He's such a good kid. So it's actually pronounced with like two E's, Hebner. Gotcha. Yeah. So it is Alex Hebner. but. Yep. He's been really yeah. good for you guys, and along, like you said, with Brendan Jackson, she's, you've had some really good senior leadership there. Um, but do you feel like uh, your, you know, your pitching is in place? Do you you feel like you've got good enough depth going into this to get through this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I feel I feel we do. You know, we don't um, we don't have like a a shutdown guy in a sense of velo. Mm-hmm. You know, like last year we had Ay who was a, a really good really good arm. Um, you know, arguably the best arm, you know, East has seen, but, um, but we have some guys that are, uh, you know, bulldogs and we, you know, I'll get in trouble for my East guys saying that word. So (laughs) if you guys are watching this, sorry, I said that no bulldog, they're lions, sorry, they're lions, but (laughs) they, they are just gritty and, um, you know, like McGill and Brennan and Justin, they don't have that 88, 89, you know, but I'm telling you, they can compete. Um, and they're pretty, they're pretty, um, they got, you know, they got control and they got command and, and like I said, they're just pretty tough. So as far as the depth is concerned, you know, absolutely. And the fact that, you know, Missouri still hasn't changed their playoff system, which I really, you know, people always talk about how they should change that playoff system into a three game series, which I'm totally on board with to, to get the overall team, um, more, you know, you know Uh, what I'm saying? It could be a little bit more of a team situation. Um, but you know, when they continue to do this one and done type format, I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel we do have depth, you know, with McGill and, and Brennan Jackson on, on coming off the, out of the bullpen and, and even Michael Gibson, who's like a crafty righty, which is kind of funny to say, but, uh, and then of course, Avi comes in and, and does a pretty good job sometimes in the last inning to shut doors. So there you go. Kevin, thoughts on well, that? This, yeah, this, yeah, this is going to be a fun one to watch. And, yeah, Avashan kind of seems like a linchpin to the team. You know, maybe not the best at anything, but he gives you a really steady shortstop, makes really consistent plays. He helps you offensively, and then it's nice to have him in the back end there. So he's, he affects the game a lot of different ways, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He does. He's um, – yeah, he, he does. He's kind of just a competitor. Um you know, he has that answer all the time when I talk to him and ask him about how he feels and when he wants to throw and what about closing this game out or, you know, whatever. And he, he's always just like, whatever you want, coach. So, it, you know, it's it's good to have a guy like him for sure, multiple reasons. Absolutely. Sure, he'll have at least two for you on Saturday if you need him, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that game. It's, it's at Zumwalt East, correct? Yeah, 4 o'clock at Saturday at our place. We – you know, they do that goofy, uh, you know, basically it's a coin flip, um, you know, on a, on even years, the bottom bracket hosts. So we just happen to be on the bottom bracket with, with Parkway Central and it's 2022. So we'll host, although there's a coin flip to actually determine who is, uh, who's the home team. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I didn't know that part yeah. of it. Well, That's interesting. We're all learning stuff. This yeah. is new for me too, right? <laughs> <laughs> But again, hey, you know what? I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we've we've had you. Uh, we did our predictions earlier, so you're gonna have to check out the show tomorrow. <laughs> well, yeah, I was I was I was supposed to ask you guys who you guys to pick for that Dominic championship game, just to kind of relive that, just to I, make sure. I picked Saint Dominic, coach. Okay. I'll admit and then, that fully. And then, and then you, I did too. Okay, okay. I you did just too. had to make sure <laughs> to get and, that out there. And it was funny because we were talking about it earlier. Uh, Chris Carter had sent me a message. He goes, dude, you got to gotta give a shout out. You know, my mom, she just, That's she ain't funny. liking that stuff. That's funny. That's <laughs> funny. I think it's great. No, I, I think a lot of people would have picked Dominic too because they were good, good. So um, they, they definitely had a great season. So I'm, I'm just giving you guys trouble. Oh, no, that's fun. We're, we have fun with it, and that's the way it should be. It's Absolutely. baseball. It's baseball. And you know what? As you said, Coach, um, you guys have a – and we said this. You guys have a good team. It is a good baseball team. Um, you know, you look in things, and but that's why you go out and play the game, right? Yep, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's, you never know who's supposed to, supposed to win the game, you know. So you play it. That's right. <laughs> Coach, again, thanks. Congrats. Big ups to you guys. Coach Lautzi. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm Same. sure he, I'm sure he's listening. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh looking forward to the game. Thanks again for coming on. No problem. 
all you pitchers. Kevin, thanks, man. Appreciate your time as always, buddy. Thanks, Kevin. Absolutely. Best of luck, Coach Hill, to you and Zoom all these. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. Everybody, all you pitchers, keep throwing strikes. Hitters, hit them where they ain't. Got to tell you guys that. I'll, I sure will. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>